welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing the first walk around on my new 1995 Toyota Land Cruiser. As most of you guys know, I've been searching for a Land Cruiser for the last week, and here's the backstory of the one that I just picked up. So when I started searching for a Land Cruiser, this Land Cruiser <laughs> was already on the market, on Facebook Market, and it was located about two and a half hours from Anchorage, where I live. I looked through all the photos, I contacted the seller, I asked him to send me more videos and stuff like that, and I really liked it. I really liked it because it has like the bumpers, the winch, etc., etc. already, but then I wanted to just give myself a little bit more time to just look around Anchorage and see if I can find any other Land Cruiser, which I didn't find any for sale, but I found over, during my three weeks of just driving around Anchorage, I found over 20 Land Cruiser where I just went to their house, where I met them at the parking lot and I left my card with my phone number, or I went to the house and I just knocked on their door, spoke with them and asked them to, if they wanted to sell it. Most of them, all of them said no. They didn't want to sell it. They don't know. They don't know yet. One lady, she, which was my very top priority, she wasn't opposed to selling it, but then she needed more time to find a new car. It was a 93, super stock, but it was, and also it was triple lock. I kept bugging her, and then she just kind of like, just didn't reply back, so that just kind of gave me the signal that she probably wasn't ready to sell. But maybe in the future, if she does want to sell, I might still buy hers. So after three weeks of just searching around Anchorage, I couldn't find anything, and then all of a sudden, one day, my buddy texted me he said that he's gonna go check out a trailer a car trailer in Kenai and he wanted me to tag along because it's always good to travel in two or pairs and Kenai is about like two hours south of Anchorage and it was it wasn't raining or you no know, it was raining it wasn't snowing yet but it's always good to travel with somebody when you're making these kind of distance you folks downstate might be like oh two hours is nothing but up in Alaska during this kind of weather this kind of season you always want to travel with somebody just to be on the safe side so he asked me to tag along and I was like hey there's the land cruiser in Kenai let's go ahead and stop by and check out the land cruiser so I contacted the seller and told him that hey I'm coming down and we decided to check out this land cruiser I took it for a test drive and man it was really really good the two things that I before I went there there's two things that really worried me <laughs> on his ad he said that he had the head gasket replaced 4,000 miles ago and also um, he sent some photos of the frames and it was kind of rusty but most of these rusts are all surface rust the front bumper, the rear bumper has surface rust, but nothing crazy. In the summertime, I'm just going to go ahead and sand it down and either spray paint it or put some POR-15, so nothing crazy. So after we got there, I checked it out. Everything looked great. We test drove it, and it ran fine. So I made him, uh, we agreed on a price, and I bought it. That's how the story came. Now, the inside was kind of dirty. You know, they didn't clean it, and then um, I, once I bought it, I spent... <laughs> A, I spent about a whole day just cleaning it. I spent a whole day um, washing it, pressure washing it, vacuuming it, and then just wiping out everything. I took off the center console, pressure wash it, and now the inside is super clean. So here it is. Check out my 1995 Toyota Land Cruiser FZJ80. Here's the beautiful 1995 Toyota FZJ80 Land Cruiser. This one is not triple locked. I know all you folks, whenever you guys are looking at Land Cruiser, is it triple lock? Is it triple lock? It's not triple lock. If you guys don't know what triple lock is, it's vehicles that has a front and rear locker. Only 7% of the Land Cruiser came with that from factory. This one doesn't have it, but I'll go ahead and install my own lockers. Here is the 95. On the front grill, this is how you tell the 95, the 91 through 94 on the front grill, <laughs> it actually has Toyota, the word Toyota spelled out. And then from 95 through 97, the grill is just the Toyota logo. So that's kind of how you tell um, what year it is. So this one has a custom bumper um, fabricated from the previous owner. Has a 9,500 pound winch from Smittybilt. <coughs> Synthetic line. Solid axle. The knuckles are leaking a little bit. It's not super bad, but it's still drivable. So I do have a Marlin Crawler front knuckle rebuild kit on the way that's one of the first things i'm gonna do i'm also gonna change the front wheel bearings beautiful beautiful land cruiser has all the stuff that i mostly wanted to do already <laughs> has the lights these are actually rigid industry <laughs> and on the drive back home when we bought it they were super bright so i'm not gonna go and install an led light bar i might install like a 12 inch led light bar maybe along here maybe between here or whatever that size is but as far as like a hood LED bar, I won't install anything. So don't worry too much, guys. Has the roof rack. Or the roof basket mount. So I'll go and buy myself a roof basket. 
next summer. I don't need it this winter yet. <laughs> and I'm running 16 inch wheels. These are just some basic 265. I'll probably run these until next spring and then I'll upgrade to some 35s or 315, 75, 16. The 93 through the 97 Land Cruiser, they came with full flow axle. And this is what they look like. They look like this, where you can remove these nuts and then the axle just comes out. Compared to like Tacomas and Pickup, where you have to um, remove the four bolts from the back. And again, the frame <coughs> isn't rust bad. This body here has some rust down here, but it's not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. <coughs> Here's the rear bumper. The rear bumper is a custom made from the previous owner and again it's built into the cross member the frame itself so it's not removable and just a lot of surface rust but again nothing hard to fix i can definitely <coughs> fix that myself the tire swing out does work we'll pop that out in a bit <coughs> and then it has a really bad rusty <coughs> spare we'll go ahead and remove that as well they have some previous stickers i don't like it so i'm gonna re i remove most of it and then I'm just going to go ahead and remove that spoiler in the summertime and just put some new black color over it. They also got some exhaust work done. It has like a full exhaust system from the tailpipe through the headers. And other than that, man, it's really, really nice. The red, this burgundy red, whatever this color is, they are known for this fading here. You can see like the, the gloss, the, the first layer, it does fade. So it's only happening on this side, <coughs> this quarter panel and this door right here. But again, I'm not super picky about it. When I was in the market for a Land Cruiser, it was either find one that's completely bone stock, nice and beautiful and built from ground up. But then if I was to go that route financially, that was way more expensive. So I did all the financial assessment and I just didn't want to spend that much. So with the way, so with buying, with me buying this one, that's almost halfway, halfway built already to already almost what I want. I'm saving a lot of money but just by going this route. Snorkel, lights, bumpers, LEDs, um, winch, that covers a lot of the expense already. <laughs> the only thing I plan to do now is add rear locker, lift, and 35 inch tires. And then roof basket and then everything else is accessory. You can see here, <laughs> has a little bit of rust here. <laughs> you can see this hood <laughs> closes um, down just a little bit. <laughs> not sure what exactly happened there maybe they messed up the fender or something but again i'm not being super picky it's still a really beautiful land cruiser you guys don't know anything about land cruiser man they are built tough clean title has the leather seats and if you guys don't know if it has factory lockers if it has factory locker this button right here there's a lock there's the button for the diff lock this is where it'll be located so you always want to look here if it has the button then you want to make sure you test it out or you want to make sure you look under the axle and make sure the axle has it on the third third member <laughs> but even if you look on there <coughs> you want to make sure you always test it out just make sure everything works <laughs> so everything looks nice <laughs> door panels <laughs> are clean this leather seats um, leather seats are the these particular leather seats are known for cracking so if you guys find one that's cracking uh don't throw a big fit about it <coughs> that's the norm newly peel put seat covers on it i haven't removed this and see how bad it is but i don't want to remove it we're just going to leave this one on here and i might get some new seat covers in the future here's the passenger side <laughs> passenger is pretty bad <coughs> and then <coughs> this one here has <coughs> two hundred twenty six thousand miles a little crack right here on the dashboard and that's about it and yeah everything is super clean it was really dirty when i bought it but then i went and did a nice um disinfecting wipes wipe down everything there were some stickers right there on the glove box remove all those stickers um the center console was super dirty removed took that out and cleaned it and then this cover here for the ear brake was super dirty i removed that and cleaned it as well clean all the center console and yeah everything is working nice there's a couple lights behind these switches that are out so i'm gonna go ahead and remove this panel and go ahead and replace those lights probably in the summertime and then i'm also gonna do the um cdl switch mod and also the seven pin mod and i'll talk more about that in the future the sunroof here works perfect um all the switches move uh works comes out works fine i replaced the bowl with the led only had one and then I have to go do the other one too as well. <coughs> so yeah, this is a beautiful Land Cruiser. And then on this side here, 
they removed the speaker, <coughs> but they did left the cover. I'm not an audio guy, so I didn't. I don't care too much about the radio, the audio system. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get some double side sticky tape, and then just stick it back on so it looks pretty. But as far as audio system, I'm not gonna go ahead and get that fix or work anything like that. Not too worried about it. <coughs> here are the seats right here. Here's the back seats. The leather is in pretty good shape. It's not bad at all. <coughs> Same thing with these guys. I went ahead and wiped them down. All nice and clean now. If you guys travel a lot, always have toilet paper in your seats, in your car. And then the third row seats. It did come with the third row seats. I, um, those were already taken out. And then I just um, put those into storage because I don't plan on using third row seats. And then here's the headline. Headlines all nice and clean, no rips, anything like that. There's a couple couple stains here and there, but nothing biggie. And nice thing about this vehicle is that it wasn't smoke or anything like that, so there's no smoking or odor smell, anything like that. So yeah, super super clean. Vacuum up the back. I'm eventually gonna find a plastic liner or a um, plastic, yeah, a, pla a back plastic liner <laughs> that will cover this and just give it some more protection. So eventually I'll put more stuff in here. But this is it right here. Now, if you guys don't know, this is my second Land Cruiser. And back in 2018, I had another Land Cruiser. My first Land Cruiser in 2018. It was a 94. And then I got rid of it at the end of 19, 2018. And I super regret it. But I'm fine with this one. Beautiful. <coughs> All the door panel looks good. <coughs> this one has just a small tear here. And I might just find something and just tape that back up. For the most part, this seat's pretty bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get some seat covers. If you guys have any recommendation for seats cover? Let me know um, where and what brand on Amazon, stuff like that. These are some of my favorite things to do. Um, put these extra sockets on when I get them. Mount my GoPro, have my phone mount, and also have an oversized rear view mirror. This thing clips onto your original one. Super, super amazing. I always have one of these on all my vehicles. And then some scents to make your car smell good. All the power doors and all the power windows, they do work fine. The power windows, they kind of roll just a little bit slow. Not super fast, so I don't plan on keeping them roll up and roll down. And then in the summertime, I'll go ahead and tint these windows. This is one of mine right here. <coughs> this is just like little accessory things. I put all my accessories back here. Tripod, some detail cleaner, and uh, just lots of miscellaneous things. This thing's like blue for my bike back then like i said not that much rust most of the rust is just from the back and it's just surface rust and i'll just grind that in summertime this is the spare tire right here this thing just slides open like that i might have to find some kind of way to keep that held up in place because when you're at a if the car was at a incline it's it'll want to fall back down but it's pretty cool i might build another swing out in the future right here that will carry extra gas or something but here it is beautiful all these struts here they work fine they're not dying or anything like that so i always want to replace that you can see here nothing crazy no rest or anything like that and then this tube here this is the rear axle breather tube i'm gonna go ahead and replace this in the future and make it a little bit longer and have it come out and usually i have it hidden behind the tail lights <coughs> but it's nice that they did that they did that already <coughs> and here's all that this south door here does have the original uh tire change <coughs> and also the jack and this is just my recovery bag i like to carry all the recovery stuff winches or not winches but my snatching block and my toe strap tree savers and then also the tire change thing <laughs> So you can see here, this is the surface rust. And again, this is just surface rust, not structural rust. <laughs> so all that could be uh, wire brushed down. And then like I said, I'm gonna either spray paint it or we'll put some PLR 15. But everything's super nice. It's kind of nice too, because the front coils in the front, the, um, the previous owner, he already replaced the front coils to some old man emo. I'm not sure if they're just the regular stock size, but they're definitely old man emu. But I'm going to go ahead and replace all that when I do my lift kit. I'm going to do the same lift kit that I did on my 94. 
which is the J Series Old Man Emu lift kit, which is a three to four inch lift kit. And that right there will clear 35. No wobbles or anything like that. Super sturdy. You can climb right up here and check it out. These are nice right here. I might want to get one more and put it in the center just to support the center of the basket when I put the basket on. This light here is dead. I removed it and I couldn't find the socket, so they must have done something to it. And then show you guys the underneath over here. You can see here, frame's good. No rust, no leaks. There is some um, oil oil crudge in the, in the engine on the trannies, but I think they're old. So I'm trying to pressure wash as much as possible and then look for the leaks and see if there's any leaks. But so far, I haven't seen anything yet. So one of the first thing I'm gonna do is also the front axle rebuild. That's my top number one. Once I do that, then I'll go and move on to doing an oil change and stuff. The first day when I got this, I went ahead and poured a quart of Marvel Mystery into the engine motor. So I'm gonna run the original oil that it came with for the next two, 300 miles. And then I'll go ahead and flush it out and put new oil. And I'm just gonna run 530. There was a lot of oil on the center of the head, but they look like they're all old crude oil. And I went ahead and pressure washed some of them. <coughs> but everything looks pretty good. Battery tested out well. Starter is good, alternator is good. <coughs> I'm just gonna go and clean up this wire a little bit. This wire here is for the LED, um, the rigid industry, <laughs> the LED paw lights. <coughs> no leaks on the power steering <coughs> or anything like that. And everything's pretty good, man. I'm gonna do the oil change, oil filter. I already went ahead and put a new air filter. I'll go ahead and do spark plugs. I'll go ahead and do wires, cap and rotors. And then I'll keep these as spare because like I said, there's nothing's wrong with it right now. But again, I wanna have this engine fresh so I know what's been done. And also since the knuckles are leaking, some of the oil has got into the brake calipers. So I think it contaminated the, the brake pads. The brake pads are still good, but I, it's probably been contaminated. So I ordered new brake pads. So I'm going to do all new brake pads. And once I do that, I'll go ahead and flush up the system, the brake system. One thing I did find missing on this engine was that on the one FZ here, they have a heat shield. So it looks like the heat shield has been removed. So I'm going to try to find the original heat shield and put them back on just so it doesn't get heat on here. But if you guys have any leads on that, let me know. All the belts look pretty good. They're Toyota belts, but I'm going to go ahead and order new ones and install new ones and then keep these as spares. That's usually what I like to do. The fan looks good. I might clean it up a little bit. It's a bit dirty. And the radiator is good. I might go ahead and flush the coolant system too. But again, I might wait till spring. I might wait till spring. And also, I found out that there's one little hose right here. This hose right here, it's been cut off. So if you guys know what that hose goes to, let me know in the comments section. And also, the AC still works fine. So we're going to we're gonna leave the AC as well. AC blows cold air. Cold air. And that's pretty much it. It has two block heater. It has a block engine block heater. And then it has an oil pan heater. So everything runs really good show you guys the uh, the leaky knuckles you can see right there that's the leaking knuckles it's leaking more on the driver's side versus the passenger side and those are the old man emu springs that the previous owner put on but i think those are just regular heights stock height just like that and i also ordered new tie rods these tie rods, they're not bad, but they're worn out. So I'm going to install new tie rods and then keep those tie rods as spares. I'll give you guys one quick startup and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next time. And again, I'll keep you guys posted as soon as I get this vehicle updated and the progress bill. Make sure you guys follow the Instagram, nutty new underscore 4x4. If you guys want to stay up to date on the adventure, peace out.